I have lots of memories of Soul American. We used to have liquid lunches, drinking Boone's Farm, and sitting outside on a hill. Of course, we had Mr. Smith for England. I've never cheated in a class in my life except that one. It's from Beowulf or Canterbury Tales or some other daunting task. And I had it written on my hand, and my arm, in little tiny letters. Stephanie Miller and I wrote notes to each other every day in class. We wrote a fairy tale once too, trading the pages back and forth, each being the author for a while. I still have the notes and the story today. June Newell and I also wrote notes in Spanish class, the most boring class of all time, we were convinced. We wrote over and over how bored we were, and June always had a headache. I lost count of how many movies we watched in that class, and I still don't know any Spanish. When I think of Soul American and graduation, I remember that on my graduation day, Kathy Landers, graduate of the class of 83, brought me a bottle of Oscar P champagne to school to celebrate and I stashed it in my lock. And then during graduation rehearsal, Dr. Carmone, the vice principal, searched everyone's locker and found the bottle. Called my dad down to the office and we had a meeting. First time I've ever been in his office and I got to graduate anyway, thankfully. I remember that some guys called the Buds had a plan for a big graduation party at the end of the year. They saved money weekly throughout the school year and put one guy's parents up in a hotel for the night. I smile when I think of all the organization that went into that. I think it was Steve Height, Tom Trick, Brian York, Pat Delaney, Doug Franz, and Jeff Mon. It was a great party. My family actually left Korea the very next morning. My dad had extended his tour so I could graduate and we were all so sad. I have the pictures of my friends and I crying at the airport the morning after the graduation party. So, so sad. 